Okay, Dave Coulter here. Uh, I'm just going to explain the Surface Plasmon Resonance Lab, mostly for my lab notebook, but also because I think it's so kick-ass it warrants a video. Uh, what we have here is a helium neon laser. Okay, so it's centered at uh, three or 632.8 nanometers. That's what's coming out of this bad boy. And then it's going to hit this hemispherical, let me put some light on it, this hemispherical prism. Um, so hemispherical because no matter what the angle of the hemisphere is to the incident light, it's always at a normal. And so that goes through the prism, which is made of glass. And then we've got a microscope slide on the back. And that microscope slide uh, is special because it's been coated. That, that mirror you see on the back of it, that's actually gold that we thin film deposited on it with a vacuum pump sputter system. And we were shooting for about 55 nanometers thick. So that was a pretty exciting process. But what we got here is a setup to test surface plasma on resonance. And that is a fancy way of saying um, we have light of a specific color and a specific uh, polarization. And that light is going to enter this geometry of this, of this prism and this, this mirror. And you see that some of that light's transmitted, and of course, some of that light is reflected. If we can see it here off the mirror. What happens when the light hits the metal is that it excites the electrons in the metal. And with the careful selection of polarization, of the color of light, of the kind of metal, of the thickness of the metal, of the geometry of the interaction between the light, glass, and metal, you get something called a surface plasmon resonance, which is where that light, the electric field in the light, is completely absorbed at a particular angle, a critical angle, um, for that particular metal and that geometry and all, all that stuff that I've talked about before. So here we can see there's transmitted light, there is reflected light, and I'm gonna turn this light down a little bit so we can see this effect a little more clearly. Here we go. So we've got our reflected and our transmitted. And I calculated for about 46 degrees that we're going to see the plasmon resonance effect, which essentially just means the light is going to disappear. Uh, it's not going to be reflected. It's not going to be transmitted. It's literally going to go completely into the oscillation of the electrons in the gold foil. Bam. You see that? Right there kind of bifurcates and it's a, it's a feature that stays there and you can see what's happening here I'm moving the prism back and forth so that particular angle is constant for that particular piece of metal so that means that I did a pretty good job coating that to a very specific thickness you can see here that laser light reflecting I mean that is so cool that's a really good resonance effect get closer and see that it's like Knight Rider. Oh man, I'm so nerdy. Okay, I'm sorry. So that's it. That's the surface plasmon effect. Um, I enjoyed it. I hope you did too.